Potter's Journal, it is still summer living time. We did the olive oil pours in the last video. I'm, I'm afraid to use them. I'm still using uh, the good Greek olive oil out of the thing for our dipping oil. Let's see, we've also got pomegranate molasses, a product of Turkey. Except this one says it's from Lebanon, so I guess it comes from all over. Um, and a little Greek. Okay, herbs. And we've got the sp uh, perfect for dipping bread. But we are living like animals. This is on a paper plate. So let's see what we can come up with in the studio today. This is one pound of clay for the little soap plates. That seems like an awful lot. Okay, but here is why. I am leaving about three quarters of an inch down there. Okay, to put a generous foot so that water can drain. Okay, and then I'm yeah, getting down under here after centering that and just bringing it out. So these, um, some of them will have holes punched in them for soap plates that will drain, and some will not for soap plates that don't drain, because some people want them to drain and some people don't. Okay, and then I'm making sure that if they're going to be uh, have holes in to drain, that the lowest point is in the center. And then they slowly... Okay, slant up and out. And it, um, when they dry, um, this may come up just a little bit. And then to make them easy to trim, I do get under here and take a little bit off. I really can't see what I'm doing, but, um, whoops. And to get these off the wheel, a little plate. Okay, we're making 24 of these. It's uh, too much space in the studio to waste with bats. And um, I can't imagine anybody having 24 bats. Well, a small pottery. Okay, so then, uh, what did I do there? Slip some water under and they just slid it off. Okay, so, and if I get the bottom too thin, uh, those are the plates I'll make without the drainage. And if I get it thick, plenty thick or too thick, those are the ones that I will put the foot, a heavy foot with the drainage. Um, if I get it too thin, I guess, in the side, I can't even put a center, trimmed foot in the center. Those will be soap, or no, not soap plates, um, okay. Uh, olive oil plates, so we are making three things at once here. We're making soap plates that drain, soap plates that don't drain, and olive oil dipping plates. And, you know, I am near the end of this here. I really didn't decorate any of them. I didn't put any slip on any of them. Uh, I'm not sure what I was thinking. Just hadn't thought of that. Um, I, uh, since it's such a simple form... Okay, and this is showing that I'm really not centering these and worried about them being centered or round. Okay, I wish I would have done. I'm going to have to wedge up some more clay and do some more of these.
I think I, yeah, especially like them as the olive oil dipping plates with the um, spiral around there. So, yeah, let's uh, wedge up some more clay. Who in the right mind serves oil on a paper plate? Mm, well, the oil's good anyway. Yeah. Mm. to get these things fired fast so we don't have to do this again but the next thought is you know what do you put that beautiful green Greek olive oil on it'll show up maybe on this but on my celadon it may just get completely lost and on the sea mist um, the food that uh, the color you serve on can make a big difference in the looks and appearance of the food that you serve it in monitoring these in the middle of the night they need to be flipped and turned to dry the other way um, because they were slid off the board or off the wheel with water a large amount of water in the bottom that soaked up into them and the tops are drying out but not the bottom so we need to trim them so they need a flip okay we'll get the water on there to make it stick place it in the center of the rings spin and usually this is where when I feel it touch this hand turn it off and it reaches that point and I will then push it down there to center it this time it was centered already okay nice and firm on there and because I wasn't able to prune that off down there when it was on the wheel I did on a few um, you need to be careful when getting that first rough bit Inside. Rounding off the outside. And I am keeping one finger in the middle. That helps keep it on the wall. When I round off the outside, it gives me a curve down there with a little ridge that when I pull that ridge off of there, it gives me just the contour I want out there so that the ball appears to be floating when it sits on the table. Okay, and then it'll accept the glaze differently where it's rough, so I go over that with a sponge where it's going to be glazed. Just wet the bottom a little bit. And okay, round it off with the fingers. Ugh, and a little push off because it's suctioned on there and maybe by the time summer living time is over I will have those uh, summer living plates fired and glazed very wet ooh ooh look I've got uh, the condensation in there it is soaked on the bottom so um, fortunately yeah um, it's didn't start to turn to mush. I seem to remember, yeah, going to school and uh, that being a beginner problem. It's not something I have had to deal with for a while. It was, yeah, dripping out of the plastic all over me. Also, it takes a lot of time to cover things, uncover them. So the making them, letting them dry naturally, being able to keep an eye on them, and then trimming the bottoms, um, yeah. 
the bottom some. This is something too I'm not used to doing. I'm not used to trimming the bottom. So, so to see all these trimmings to be recycled, okay, is is a big deal for me since um, yeah. I don't do a lot of trimming. Confetti! There we go! Ceramic confetti! You know, maybe I could keep that and incorporate that into my sculpture. Um, if that was painted different colors or uh, with um, oxides. Um, yeah, the uh, other side of the oil plates, the um, oil um, pourers that I have the tops for, um, these were untrimmed. I'm hoping, this is the first time I've done this, I'm hoping that if this fits in tight and snug now, um, that uh, when these things go up the cork, that when it's uh, firing we've got the sides right and it all turns out good in the end. probably do the oil pours in another video do stop back and subscribe for that and the handle the wooden handle I need to put some water in there because um, it's dry and uh, the metal part has uh, it's shrunk away from the metal part so sometimes I have to grab it down here just to get it to cut that open okay so they do the same thing with a larger tool to make stuffed zucchini and the next thing I will have to do is make a big fish serving platter Yeah, there you go. You like your salmons, don't you? <laughs> 